Hello gamers, Carl M00 here with another video. Hope you are all very well. Um, peeps, Marvel Snap has a big problem, okay? Now, before we get into the problem, let's talk about Marvel Snap, okay? It's, it's just come out, it's still quite new, a few months old, right? In terms of pros, I think it's insane. I think it's one of the most innovative card games to come out in a long time. The location system, varied gameplay, you know, you've got, we've got like 70, 80 locations now. Every single game feels different. There's nothing that's overtly overpowered. The balance is good. Um, no, the, the art is absolutely gorgeous. So, and also the, you know, the, the systems, the, the snap mechanics, it feels very good, fantastic. There's a lot of skill expression, a lot of depth, fast games. It's snappy. It just, it, you know, excuse the pun. It feels very good. So, you think you're probably thinking, what's this guy talking about? That he's, you know, he could only he could only um, give praise to the game. Well, the big problem is, um, gamers, is there's nothing to do. So, what do I mean by there's nothing to do in the game? So, a lot of the gameplay is grinding through the ranks. Okay, grinding through these ranks uh, to hit your rewards. Right. So, you hit these rewards. Now, when I first came to the game, the first two weeks I streamed this game was absolutely fantastic. I couldn't put it down. I started from zero or ten, and I grinded up to a hundred. Took me about two weeks, okay, with new cars, etc. Now, the next season, the next season, every single time you get to a hundred, if you're over a hundred, every person who's above infinite gets reset to seventy. So this season that's just gone, that's just coming now. We've got five days left. I did it in three days, okay, seventy to a hundred. Now, and that was, you know, still inexperienced. I think this time around, if this system doesn't change, I will I will be able to do 70 to 100 in two days. I could probably do it in one day if I did a 24-hour stream, okay? Um, and then after you hit 100, in terms of actually grinding for, for something, for some kind of progression, you are trapped to missions, okay? And missions, you only get two... Oh, well, you get missions, weekly challenge, and, and the season pass. But all this stuff can be done in maybe an hour or two per day. Okay, it doesn't matter if you've got the weekly challenge. It doesn't matter if you've got these move cards. You know, it doesn't matter if you've got these missions. You get, what is it, two per eight hours, I think? So, and I mean, these missions aren't difficult. There's stuff like play total 100 power or play four cost, four cost cards, four out of four. Or, you know, win a game by snapping. These are done very, very quickly. Okay, they're, they're, they're easily done. And then once you finish with these, you can't progress your account. The only things you get by playing after your missions are boosters, which are, is, a, I think it's a cap of a thousand you can get per day. So you you have an endless amount of boosters. So farming boosters is irrelevant because you're never going to have the other resources to, to progress your account. And season pass, you can grind this, which is something like, it's a very small amount. It takes a long time. Per game, you get like 20, 30, I think. So it's like for 30 games and then you'll get your season cash, which can be, you know, different things. But normally it's like, you know, 10 boosters or 50 credits. Really not worth grinding this out, right? So you say, okay, well, you can play, you can play new decks and you can, you can try new things. Well, again, you're kind of hard capped on how this works. Because you can get maybe one collector's, you get 10 boosters, 50 credits, and probably one collector's reserve a day. Around that much, give or take. And then... The collector's reserve isn't even even isn't even always a card. I mean, sometimes this is this is well. Now it would be collector's tokens. It was bo boosters beforehand, avatars, titles, things that don't change the game. So the acquisition of cards is even quite slow. So right now it feels. I tell you what it feels like. If you're if you're familiar with the game, anyone who's played the game will know what I mean. <clears throat> it feels like Raid Shadow Legends. Okay, I, I mean that makes sense because it's a mobile game. But what I mean by that is I try to I try to stream Raid Shadow Legends as a main game. About a year or two ago, I enjoyed the gameplay, and it was very similar. Like you played, you played um for a little bit, and then you hit an energy. This is like a pseudo energy system. You can only progress a certain amount per day, right? And it had that in, in Ratio of Legends. You can only come in, finish your energy, and come out. It takes about an hour or two. It's like Marvel Snap. You can only progress your account for maybe an hour or two a day. And I mean, two is very generous. It normally takes me about thirty minutes to log in, do my missions, and log out. And I thought this was a problem for me, but no, it's not because I also spoke to my friend. He's doing exactly the same thing. It's the only way you can progress and get new cards. And I actually left this up um, just to show you an example. Hopefully, it doesn't it doesn't fall to me. But if I pull this open, look, hundred collector tokens. So hundred collector tokens. I need 
100 collector tokens, I need, you know, a thousand for a series 3 and even more. So I have to get 10 of those just to get a series 3, you know, and then a series 4, I have to get 30 of those peeps. Do you know what I mean? So look, I've just done my missions, done my collector's reserve, got um, 100 tokens. It doesn't change my account in any way. There's no new things to check, to, to test for me. So... I was stuck here now and I just play for the fun of it, I guess, but I played so much, there isn't really... I'm a c very competitive minded, I want to grind towards it, I want to progress, okay? Now I'm just stuck here, I mean, I'm just stuck here with the same deck that I've played a thousand games of. Um, so that's really the problem, like, post infinite, there's really nothing to do. Um, so obviously, you know, anyone can point this out. Um, I don't always want to bring up a problem without some solutions, and I have some solutions, and some of them, some of them hopefully... Um, they've they've already made aware they're looking to do, but I mean this kind of needs to happen. I'm hoping sooner than later because right now with this game, all I can really do is log in, do my missions, um, and then log out, and then maybe play a little bit if I feel like having some fun. But I'm a competitive minded person. I want to grind. I want to be able to progress my account or progress towards ranking up. So I've got three solutions to this problem where we can actually play the game and 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 grind it out, right? So my free my free solutions are, are these, okay. One would be putting in um, a leaderboard, okay? A leaderboard for this, so you can see where you stand amongst other players. Um, a few things would need to be sorted out to fix this. First of all, you need to separate. You'd need to separate the pools or the series on the leaderboard. The reason why is because you can you can just ca camp the end of pool one and farm new players with like a zoo deck, right? No killmonger threat or camp camp pool two. It's a lot harder to climb against people with a full collection than you know holding holding your account. At series one, if you go on Snap Fan, look on the leaderboard. A lot of the players with the highest infinity on there, the two hundred infinity ranks, are people that are like collection level two hundred. Okay, because they're just sitting in the thing. So if you bring an infinity leaderboard, you need to one make it pool separated, and two remove the bots from Infinite Plus. There's still bots going around. I um, need to remove the bots, otherwise there's no point. Right? There's no. There's no. I mean, you could never really make it a true, a true skill expression on the ladder of games. I mean, there's, there's always going to be a certain element of playing more, but you need to kind of limit these factors, and that would be removing the bots from Infinite Plus and, um, and separating the pools on the leaderboard. Okay, so that's one system, Infinity Leaderboard, that I think, would, which they've already, Second Dinner's already made aware they're working on something like that, so that's good. Um, two, um, make it so this scales higher. Don't leave it at 100. You know, let's go 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, maybe 150, 200, make it endless like this. Make it endless like this and have it with like reoccurring rewards. You know, it doesn't have to be crazy rewards, but you know, a certain amount of credit, a certain amount of gold, maybe a variant throw in every 50 levels. Just like make this basically go endless, right? Or something similar. Just something to, to go forward, you know, oh, I want to hit 110, 120. Right now you can do that, but there's no point in doing that. Like people hit 300, well, you don't get anything for that. And there's a lot of bots as well. So it's like, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a a fruitless endeavor in my opinion so that's extend this rank system 100 is not enough like i, I can do it in like two days okay um and a, a month a month a month uh, season lasts about 30 days right but it's a month give or take maybe like a month and a week i'm not sure it's about a month though like this one here we've got what four days and 15 hours left okay so I'll, I'll go and do that but then i'll be left with nothing to do again so make this go higher make this go up to 150 200 endless okay that's my second solution that i propose for that and my third solution would be give us an event that's meaningful, meaningful rewards and hard to complete. Right now, we've had two two events that I've seen. The Halloween event, which was very, very easy to complete, gave 100 credits. And the uh, Vibranium event, which gave you, is, is, we're still waiting for that, but it's the Avatar, like 100 credits or 400 credits, something around there. Um, both were very easy to complete and didn't take much, much to do. I mean, you know, it was very easy. People did it in a couple of days. The event was over for like two weeks. Give us an event meaningful some unique rewards maybe some other avatars some titles that you can only get there or some credits and gold a little bit more you know a little bit more credits and gold and make it a bit more difficult don't make it just oh turn, come in and do like five ten games do something like i don't know you know win win 50 snapped games or win 100 snapped games you know make it scale it up a little bit so you know give give us grinders something to, to come into and play for you know or you know you, you can get unique with it or, or you know deal do, do like um you know, have fifty, have have twenty, win a win a location by twenty power for fifty times, something like that. Just just something that's grindy. You know, give give like a give like a monthly events, put in that monthly events like, like like similar to this, right? With move cards, about four out of ten move cards, guys. Four out of ten move cards. I can do that in two three games. I get hundred move cards, two hundred move cards. Something grindy that makes you, you know want to play Skelter Awards. So just to recap, um, Infinity leaderboard, okay, leaderboard for the Infinity players. Remove the bots. Um, 
Uh, make it pool separated so it's fair. Uh, scale up the ranking system so 100 isn't the top rank, 150, 200 or endless. And some bigger and more meaningful rewards. Okay, I think, that I, just to recap as well, I think the game is fantastic. I love the gameplay, the core gameplay is beautiful, it's so fun. Skill expression, the depth of it is, is amazing. But right now, the way the game is tailored, um, it is promoting you to kind of log in, do your missions, come out. And that's like 30, 30 minutes to now. I want to stream the game. I want to put eight, nine hours on for people, right? So just, just kind of struggling to kind of play and put a lot of hours into the game right now. But I think with these three systems, hopefully all, four, all three of them would be fantastic. But with these kind of systems, put these in the game and, um, you know, just, just incentivize a bit more playing on a competitive level. Okay, for me, uh, obviously they've got a competitive mode coming out as well. That is something that has been talking about, where you know two players go up against each other. They have ten health, same cube system. Whoever loses first, there's multiple rounds. Whoever lo goes to zero health loses. You know, let's incorporate that. I understand some things are on the way, but this is a day in day out thing for me. Right, I stream daily. I want to stream this game daily, but right now there is enough content for me to, to stream it, in my opinion. Okay, so you know, let me know what you think. Let me know if, if drop a like if, if if you think some of the some of the um systems that i propose could be good um i want to know your opinion if, if if you're sharing the same thoughts um and if you have any ideas or what, what where you kind of are with snap right now but um hopefully going forward hopefully you know people that come into this video and it's a month or two old um some of this stuff has been sorted out and they've they've rolled out some some stuff i do have faith in, in second and i think they've done some fantastic stuff so far and listen to the community so we'll see what happens but other than that thanks for tuning in as always, guys, um, and I'll see you on the next one. Have a fantastic day.